Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I wanted to do a video today because I fucked up today. <laughs> I haven't done a video saying that I messed up in a while. I thought maybe some of you would take some pleasure in knowing that I screwed up. So my, my day was pretty much shot. I've been following my my Conborn, my, <laughs> my Kanban approach. Uh, you can check out how I plan my week lately. I'd stopped doing that, started doing it again. And today I was supposed to write a thousand words, supposed to wake up at 7 a.m., supposed to do a whole bunch of stuff. And I basically, basically tooled around until like noon or one and basically didn't get much done. I just finished my workout, which I did get that done, but I also uh, did not perfectly stick to the pre-workout diet plan and ate a little bit more than I should have. So I screwed that up. Yeah, just a big overall screw up day but the reason why I'm making this video is for two reasons one to tell you that I screwed up I've done of course some videos on screwing up and failure which you can check out I can't think of the exact names of them right now but there's so many of them that I'm sure will be a good relevant one here but uh, so I'm making it for two reasons one to just show you that, that, that I do screw up uh, and it's okay to screw up and to admit that you screw up, it'd be more more than to mean that you screw up to yourself, uh, being honest with uh, with other people about it, because there's no shame, there's no need to hide it. Uh, the more that you hide the screw up, the more that you'll continue to screw up. The quicker you get it off your chest and say, I screwed up, and acknowledge it to yourself, and acknowledge it to other people around you and stop trying to hide it, the quicker you'll get over it and get past it and move on. But if you fail to acknowledge a lesson that you learned in your life, you don't learn the lesson. So best to acknowledge the lessons as soon as possible. Uh, the second reason I made the video is to say that basically, yeah, when you screw up, what do you do? You don't keep on dwelling in it. Like I said, you acknowledge it, you move on, tomorrow's a new day. You don't try and make up for it either. I mean, you know, I tried to salvage as much of the day as I could, but I'm not gonna do double time tomorrow, try to make up for it and go way in debt instead. Uh, I made my schedule realistic again, reprioritized it, moved things back, replanned out the week, and now I have a, a, a schedule that I, that's acceptable that I can actually accomplish if I'm not a bum tomorrow and I'm not lazy and I wake up at seven and do what I'm supposed to do. So uh, another thing that people do when they screw up is they stick, they either try to double time it and try to stick to the same schedule or they, or yeah, basically that, they, they make the schedule unreasonable and then they get so buried in shit that they feel demotivated and they continue to screw up because they feel like things are hopeless and overwhelming. As soon as you, think, as soon as you feel like things are help, hopeless, you'll be helpless. Remember that, if you feel like things are hopeless, you'll be helpless. So don't, don't ever let yourself get to that point. Always reprioritize, replan things out and, uh, and adjust to the new reality. So anyway, that's all I got to say for this video today. Uh, if you like this channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.